Hello everyone, here in this series of video, we're gonna do the sentiment analysis. This is a learning project. We can take it as a learning project. And this I'm going to do on a real life problem, which is of course UKPM race as of now the most hottest topic, which is apparently between Listros and Rishi Sunak, all right? So in this analysis, we're gonna learn a variety of things out of which if I have to highlight some are web scrapping, natural language processing, sentiment analysis and visualization. And not only this, there will be many more things when you go into the detail. All right. So let me take you to the Jupyter notebook and try to help you understand the things with the practical examples. So here is the setup I have done for this particular project. So this project we're going to complete in four stages. First one is environment setup and log into the Twitter, then scrap the tweets, then clean the tweets and then do the analysis, sentiment analysis and visualize that. All right. So let's start with environment setup and log into the Twitter. So for that, I first require certain depend import. I first require to import certain dependencies, so which I will simply copy from here and just put it. All right. Before I take you further, let me show you a uh, glimpse of it right so here is the same thing which i have already done and if you can see over here here i have done some visualization here is the scatter plot this blue line shows the neutral sentiment of the or, uh, people and then this one is the negative sentiment and this one is the positive sentiment okay and over here i have also created a count plot here we have the percentage and here i have also tried to filter out top three positive sentiment top three negative sentiment and the neutral free sentiments okay so this is all we are going to achieve over here so here i have got the list of dependencies there is one more thing which i want to import at this point of time and that is get pass this will help us in making the password masked okay and over here i will create two variables for one is for my user and that i'm going to put my user id then my password for which i will use this module get pass dot get pass and then what will happen is here it will just ask me to enter the password which i am done and now i need to do the chrome setup so here i have already done that okay let me just see if i if i already have the chrome opened no i don't have that so i'll just come back over here and i will copy this patch and just put it over here it is not a rocket science you can simply do this all right you can just do the same exact thing if you want to see the setup how to do this selenium setup for chrome i have a separate video link will be provided in the description you can just try that out now i just need to run this particular thing and let's just see what happens it should idly open the chrome window let's just see if we are getting that open it's just gonna take few seconds just bear with me. let's just bear with this i think it is opened where is that yeah here it is here it is all right so now what we need to do is we need to make this search box then this button then password box and then login button so let's just do one by one here we need to right click this and then click on inspect this will open the docker window over here then just take this arrow come over here this is a little slow just click on this and here is what we got okay so here we should have a tag which says username autocomplete username let's just take this okay so these all things i have covered in very detail uh, let me just take this one okay and i'll just create a x path which is called input and in that i'm just going to use this all right so it is selecting the search box i'll just come back over here and here i'm just going to say user id equals to driver dot find element and into that i'm going to say by dot x path and here this this and then this so when this is if when this appears right this will select the search box oh, sorry user box and then in that i need to supply the user id which i have stored right over here which is in my user okay so here i will just say my user over here all right and then what next i need to do is i'll just click directly over here okay user id dot send keys let's just try this okay because after entering the user id over here i will require to click on the next button but 
instead of clicking i'll hit enter okay so here i will just say keys and then i will just say keys dot enter let's just see here here we go okay so remember how i'm using these all things is because i have already imported them over here you see by keys everything i have imported over here all right so now let's just try this what happens okay i just hit enter and if you see here the user id is already entered and we are on the next page so over here again we need to do the same thing let's just take this arrow come back over here and over here what we see is let's just see let me just make it a little bigger and to, 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 here we have type equals to password let's just copy this tag and it's gonna be the same thing over here i will just type password and this is selecting the box okay so let's just create the another shell and here i will say password equals to driver dot find element and inside that i will use by x path and inside that i'm just going to use the password box and in that now the box is created inside that i need to supply my password which i have already stored for your reference i'll just take you at the top over here and here is the password in stored in my pass okay so i'll just type that my pass okay and then i will just hit enter for that i will just say send keys inside that keys and i need to choose keys then i need to choose enter sorry enter over here let's just hit execute this and let's just see what happens looks like there is something wrong the password is not correct so let me just come back over here and let's just hit enter looks like i had entered the incorrect password now i will again come back over here and let's just try let's see yeah it looks like it is accepted okay and now we are inside my account okay let me just bring it to the bottom over here all right so we are logged in in our account and this is it in this video in next video we're gonna search about we're gonna put a search term and then scrap the tweets to be continued in the